Now Geography Lesson! Hello everyone! Welcome to our YouTube video about the geography of the River Nile. Today we're going to learn about one of the most famous rivers in the world and the important role it played in the history of ancient Egypt. The River Nile is the longest river in the world, flowing over 4,000 miles from its source in the highlands of East Africa, through Sudan and Egypt, and finally emptying into the Mediterranean Sea. The Nile is divided into two main parts, the White Nile and the Blue Nile. The White Nile starts in Lake Victoria in Uganda, while the Blue Nile begins in Ethiopia. These two rivers meet in Sudan and continue together as the Nile River. The Nile River flows through some of the driest regions on Earth, but it's also home to a diverse range of plants and animals. Along its banks, you can find lush vegetation, such as papyrus and date palms, and animals such as hippos and crocodiles. The ancient Egyptians relied heavily on the Nile for their survival. The river provided water for drinking, irrigation for crops, and transportation for goods and people. It also played an important role in their religion, as they believed that the Nile was a gift from the gods. The Nile River also played a significant role in the development of Egyptian civilization. The fertile soil around the Nile allowed for the growth of crops, which led to the development of a complex society with a centralized government, writing system, and impressive architecture. So, that's the geography of the River Nile. We hope you learned something new today. Remember, the Nile River is not only important to the history and culture of ancient Egypt, but also to the millions of people who live along its banks today. Thanks for watching. 